It's finally happening. Atrium is coming out with our next release, release number four, titled Mr. Majestic. The whole point of Atrium Fragrance as a brand is for men to be introduced into more creative and unique ideas in perfumery. I got annoyed at the fact that most perfumery nowadays is too commercial, it's too boring and trying to play it safe and be on trend instead of trying to create something new, be more like risk takers. We started off with Mr. Fragrance being our blue scent that is fresh out of the shower, but at the same time, it focused on a lot of naturals, a little bit more mature, classy, and had this intense greenness to it that gave it its own unique twist to this DNA. Then we had Mr. Romantic, which was a spicy cardamom scent that focused on the traditional date night DNA for a man, but focused on unique notes like white florals and notes like chamomile to make it stand out, making a unique scent that's sexy to wear in the evening. Mr. Maritime was our take on an aquatic DNA. I hadn't seen uh, aquatic fragrances in a long time in mainstream releases. They're not as common as they used to be. So I thought we'd go re-explore them and add a mango and a tropical twist to that fragrance. Today we have Mr. Majestic, which is our take on a plum fragrance. And recently, I feel that there just aren't that many plum fragrances in general for us men specifically, especially ones that are still in production. So let's talk about the Mr. Majestic note breakdown. First of all, we have plum, cardamom, Bergamot, Amber, Iris, Sandalwood, Cedar, Tonka, and Labdanum. Here's a full note breakdown on the screen for you guys to appreciate it. Pause the screen if you have to to see all the notes. I will say that the main hero note of this fragrance of ours is going to be the plum, of course, which lasts a long time in its duration, several hours into the fragrance. Then also the sandalwood is a big player here. The iris giving it a creamy powderiness here, and as well as the cardamom and the amber notes in here. Overall, how would I describe Mr. Majestic? This is a fragrance for you guys who want a darker DNA from Atrium. If you enjoy fragrances like Tom Ford's Noir Eau de Parfum or Black Orchid Eau de Parfum, this is the kind of fragrance for you, although this isn't as intense or dense and sweet. Or if you enjoy fragrances like Carlisle, if you enjoy fragrances that are iris-based evening scents, so things like Dior Homme Intense, The Gentleman Line, CH Men Passion, which was an excellent recent release, then this is our fragrance for you. And of course, if you love plum fragrances like the discontinued Plum Japonais, or fragrances like Paragon, or all, any of the other fragrances we discussed in our recent video, then of course, this is the fragrance for you. I would say that Mr. Majestic is like if you took the plum from Plum Japonais, mix it with the iris from the evening scents like Dior Homme Intense, mix it with sandalwood that you got in things like CH Men Passion, combine them all together, you get that kind of fragrance. It's dark, but at the same time balanced. It's an evening scent that I would say you wear in the autumn, winter, and springtime. I do think plum is an underrated nose in general, men's perfumery that I mentioned comes from the base of Prunella. And this plum here in this fragrance smells very juicy. It's very long lasting. It's definitely a main player in this fragrance. And in the second half of this duration, then you get more of this powdery creaminess and this woodiness. The sandalwood really sticks out. It becomes a little bit more musky in this fragrance DNA. There is an amber-like quality from the amber nose and the labdanum that isn't too intense. We actually had a more intense earlier version of this fragrance, making it more loud. So it's a little bit less loud than it used to be, but I still say this is a medium to loud projecting fragrance with about eight hours longevity in my skin, but I go anosmic to sandalwood very easily. If you're looking for a new and exciting and interesting head toner fragrance, that's going to be many compliments already so far, and four hours into wearing it, it's still projecting about two feet, then you want to check this fragrance out. This is our loud, more cold weather oriented fragrance for guys who want to stick out, get compliments and smell different. What you guys need to know about this release is that it's very different in the way it's going to be sold compared to previous releases. Previous releases, we do one batch, but we do a pre-order at a reduced price and then do a regular sale afterwards, regular selling at this original price. For Mr. Majestic, we're leaning into exclusivity. If you get this fragrance, you know no one else is gonna smell like you because we're only making bottles to order in the pre-order campaign. So we are having a five day, get your calendar out, put this down. We're having a five day pre-order campaign in the last week of October that goes into November. So the last week from Monday to Friday on the 30th of October, starting from Monday midnight time in the UK, you can pre-order the fragrance. It has one price, it has its own original price of £100, but it comes with included delivery, of course, and it comes with a free sample to try the fragrance out before you open the main 100ml products. So make sure you mark it in your calendar or just click on the link down below 
to click to be notified about the frames release so we can tell you as soon as it's ready to pre-order because that is the only time you can get it after the pre-order campaign after we make all the bottles for people who pre-ordered it that's it this fragrance is not going to be available of course guys if you want to see public reactions to this fragrance then we will do that we're going to put it up against other head turner fragrances and we'll see how it does out in the open. What are your thoughts about this release? Are you guys excited for Mr. Majestic? Is this a Epsom profile that sounds like it's right up your alley? Hopefully it is, guys. Hopefully you're excited about it. If you have any questions about the release, let us know down below. Thank you for watching, guys. Thank you for supporting Atrium for all of you that have. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.